so what you have to do is you need to have a, what you need to do is you need to have an array like multiple numbers you will take an array and ask the user to store numbers in the array how you can do that is declare an array make a loop and ask for input inside the loop all right so you will ask the user to enter a set of numbers and then you will check you will print the sum of all the even numbers and all the odd numbers is it clear yes ma'am okay so start solving it and like let's take 10 minutes you all can give it a try and after that everybody can like share your screen and we'll discuss even if you cannot solve it it's fine just give it a try i want all of you and everyone who's present in the class i don't it doesn't matter you all need to give it a try so everybody will be sharing their screen after solving it even if it's not done it's wrong i'll help you out doing it yourself will teach you even more all right so everybody start doing this question
Did anybody solve it? Did anybody finish solving it? Okay, let's wait for two minutes more and then I will start checking all of your answers. Okay, so Naveen sir, can you share your screen with us? Naveen sir? Can you guys hear me? Hello? Yes ma'am. Okay, so Naveen sir, can you hear me Naveen sir? Naveen sir, Nadashi ma'am, can you share your screen? Ma'am, I'm not joined with my laptop, ma'am. So you did not even attempt the question? So you could have informed me, then why am I waiting over here? Shweta ma'am? Ma'am? Yes ma'am. Can you share your screen? Yes. Can you run it once? Okay, good. But uh, how did you input the numbers? Are the numbers saved in an array? Can you no, scroll up? No. 
all right but the the logic is all right but uh, the question said you were supposed to take an array but good if you all you had to do was first store the numbers in an array and then go over it but this is also a good approach nice uh, means ma'am uh, first of all we have to store the numbers in array and uh, after the in the output uh, the the numbers will come from the array that's mean yes yeah. uh, yes yes Sure, ma'am. Let's see everybody else program and otherwise then I'll explain how the array logic will work. Uh, Lokesh sir, can you share your screen? Yes, ma'am. I'm error R, yes, ma'am. Let's see. Ma'am, this program is error. कहाँ पे एरर आ रहा है? एक बार और रन करिए स्टार्टिंग से फिर यहाँ पे कोड में जाना जहाँ पे इफ एरे ऑफ आई लिखा हुआ है जे आएगा वहां पे दोनों जगह अब ट्राई करिए वहां पे भी सम ए आर आर ऑफ आई जो लिखा हुआ है सम इवन इज इक्वल टू सम इवन प्लस ए आर आर हाँ ऊपर भी सही आंसर एक बार एडिशन चेक कर लो इवन नंबर्स है सिक्स और एट और राइट ऑफ नाइन सेवन फाइव ठीक है गुड ऐसे दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू डू इट श्वेता मैम इफ यू लुक एट इट पहले देखो उसने आयरे लिया और आयरे में नंबर सेव करवा लिए परफेक्टली सेव करवा लिए आयरे में नंबर और उसके बाद उस एरे को मतलब फॉर लूप में लगा के और फिर कंडीशन चेक करके सम इवन के निकाल लिया और सम ऑड नंबर्स का निकाल लिया सो so, ये परफेक्ट आउटपुट है जिस लाइक हुएवर इज लाइक कंफ्यूज्ड और डिंट गेट द रिजल्ट दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू डू इट लुक एट दिस आउटपुट वंस एंड देन लेट मी नो इफ समबडी कैन नॉट अंडरस्टैंड अ सर्टेन पार्ट ऑफ दिस Sakshi ma'am did you do it you can stop sharing the screen locate sir okay ma'am Sakshi ma'am did you yes ma'am but maine array nahi liya tha okay just show your program once Can you run it once? Okay, you did the okay do while thing. It's also fine. Just run it once. Good, perfect. 
All right. So try doing this uh, if you guys can question eight. Input a number and then it should at when the number has been entered, it should tell that if the number is a prime number. Or a non-prime number, composite number. I hope you all know what prime numbers and composite numbers are. Yes, ma'am. All right. If somebody knows what they are, can you tell it once in the class that if anybody has any confusion, it will all be cleared. Can anybody tell what prime numbers are? Uh, Ma'am, prime numbers uh, are those which are not divisible by any number. Uh, just are these divisible by only one? And the composite numbers are uh, uh, composite numbers are like uh, if uh, we take an example of two, the adjacent number is three, so the composite number of two will be three. No, 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 no. Wait. No, but uh, prime I number is all right. No, you went. Prime number is all right. Prime numbers are numbers which only occur in like are divisible by one or the number itself. Like two is a prime number. Two can be divided by one or by two. Cannot be divided by any other number. Another example is seven. Seven can be divided by one and by seven, not by any other number. Composite numbers are the numbers which are divisible, which are not prime. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's fine. So, com if the number that is a not prime is a composite number. So you have to tell if the number is prime number or not prime number. So try building up a logic. Try solving this, and then we'll discuss it.
Did anybody solve it? Let's take two more minutes and then we'll start discussing. Done, ma'am. All right. So I'll stop sharing, and then you can share your screen. एट के लिए तो नॉन प्राइम दिखाना चाहिए नहीं आपका जो लॉजिक है वो थोड़ा सा गड़बड़ है उसमें ऐसे नहीं होगा अभी मैं एक्सप्लेन करती हूँ कैसे होगा पहले बाकी सबके एक बार प्रोग्राम्स देख लें क्योंकि जीरो उससे तो मतलब सारे नंबर चले जाएंगे ना इसलिए अभी मैं एक्सप्लेन करती हूँ श्वेता मैम कैन यू शेयर स्क्रीन मैम आई एम नॉट डन विद द प्रोग्राम मुझे लॉजिक नहीं आ रहा था ऑलराइट साक्षी मैम डिड यू रीड सम पॉइंट यस मैम आई एम शेयरिंग ऑलराइट perfect can you once explain to everybody like how you got the logic what do you do so that everybody can learn from it sure ma'am first we take the number from scanner after that we um, we have to return something from this uh if if condition so one we, it is not prime 
and not uh, composite so we'll take from uh, in teacher we we'll start from 2 and against this number then we incremented this number and whenever n number suppose we take in 2 then it goes to that for loop after that it, it will check the modulus of 2 is equal to equal to 2 if uh, it's true then it will go to that loop and false it will go to this loop that's it all right great you can start sharing your screen now this is what they have done another easier way of like not easier like a less this is kind of you know a bit complex you can say is you make a loop from let it goes from 1 till the number itself all right you make a loop from 1 till the number itself and then you check if the number modulus i equals equal 0 and then you put a counter let me do one thing i'll open a compiler and let's just do it all right see what you can do is i'll just do the prime number checking logic instead of writing the complete program see now this is like i have written this sop i am just written it in short so n is the number that you have taken from the user because everybody did that part correct then you make a loop which goes from 1 till the number all right it's a loop which is going from 1 till the number and what are we checking we are checking if n modulus i that means the number divided by n, i and i will go from 1 2 3 4 4 till the number Equals equal zero. That means the number is completely divided by i. If the number is completely divided by i, we will increase this counter by one. So what will happen? Let's say we have a non-prime number, which is let's say four. All right, the loop will go from one till four. First, the value of i is one. Four divided by one is zero. So the counter will be increased. Counter will become one. Then we will have Two, so four divided by two is also zero. The counter will become two. Then we will have three. It is not divided by three, so nothing will happen. It will go back. Then it will become four, and it will it is divided by four, so counter will become three. After this loop is finished, here the loop ends. We will check if the value of counter is two. It is prime unless otherwise it is not prime. So in this case, the value of counter was three, so it is not prime. Let's take a, a prime number. Let's say two. So what will happen? I is one. Two is divided by two. It will become one. Then two is also divided by two. So it will became two. So the counter's value is two. It is prime. It will come two every time we take a prime number y because the loop is going from one till the number itself, right? So let's say if we have seven, so the loop will work from one till seven. 
and from 1 to 7 7 can be divided by 1 and 7 right not any other number will not divide 7 so 7 has only two factors you can say that's why it is a prime number otherwise it would have been a non prime number did you get the logic if you look at it in that way all prime numbers are divisible by 1 and the number itself that means they have only two factors if any number has more than two factors that means it is not prime so it becomes composite that's what we are doing we are counting the number of factors we are counting the numbers by which the number is completely divisible if that if that comes out to be 2 then it is prime if it is not 2 that means it is not prime is it clear yes ma'am understood yes ma'am all right so now this is another program that i want you all to know which is this hca but let me see if they've done it in a way no I'll leave this for now try this one and i think this is very easy you've done easy program now you've done these kind of programs just right now so you can just make some changes in that quickly perform this one question number 11 
Okay, so I'll stop sharing and then you can share your screen. Somebody finish it? If somebody did, just share your screen. Yes, ma'am. Run it on. Try run it once and give it some negative numbers and some zeros as well, and then see if it's counting everything. Okay, perfect. Perfect, Shweta ma'am. You can stop sharing now. Um, Lokesh sir, did you do it? Lokesh sir? Yes, ma'am. Can you share your screen? Yes, ma'am. Okay, perfect. Okay. Sakshi, ma'am, did you do it? So you did it only for one number. Try doing it like uh, how Shweta ma'am did it or even how Lokesha, those both are correct. But Shweta ma'am's was like more correct according to the question that the user got an option to enter as many number as, it, as they wanted. So the logic is correct. But uh, according to the question, you should have, you know, done it in a different way. But the logic is correct. So good. 
now uh, for today i'm going to give no task all right there's no task for today but what i want all of you to do is is complete all the previous task if anybody is still left to do it uh, including the game in the project that we did the guess the number one and tomorrow i want all of you to you know